everyone, I'm Yolanda Soto Lopez from the Opcrafts channel. I hope you enjoyed today's video tutorial. Please be sure to subscribe if you haven't already done so, that way you never miss a new video. If you see anything you like, be sure to hit that like button, put any comments below, and let's get the party started! Okay, so now our hat is done, and now um, I'm going to be making these little curly cues, or I guess people call them corkscrews. And uh, you could, you, I'm going to be making two of each, and so here is like two, four, six, eight, ten. I want to be making twelve. You don't have to make that many. You can make four, or six, whatever. You're going to be adding them to your hat, depending according to your taste. So here, I've already done these, so I'm going to demonstrate how to do it with one, and then you're going to make whatever colors. All of these colors, um, I'll put the links in the description box below. So you, if you like these, you could see and um, buy them online. Um, all of those were red heart. So it's just they're like, they're just red heart super savers. So I'm gonna demonstrate um, this blue one, but you could use um, any medium weight yarn. So here, what I'm gonna do all of these, what I did, I leave a tail first because I need to have a tail that I'm gonna be able to uh, thread them through the hat and then attach them this way, okay? so. Um, you need to leave a tail and then that tail will use that to attach this. The end, when you finish here, this one will be your last stitch you're going to sew or weave in your um, tail. So um, so here where I'm going to start then, I'm going to leave a little tail, maybe this big, make a slip loop, and then I'm going to chain 20 chains loosely. You don't want to make them too tight, okay? So you're just going to have that tail there, and I'm going to do 20 chains. So one, two... Okay, so here I have 20 chains, and now here to begin the stitches, I'm going to do on the second chain from the hook, remember this doesn't count as a chain, so here's one, two, on that second chain on that uh, um, from the hook, I'm going to do three half double crochets. To do that, I'm going to yarn over, meaning I wrap the yarn over the hook, I'm going to go into that second chain, pull it out, there'll be three loops on my hook, and I'm going to go ahead and pull through all three. That's my first half double crochet. I'm going to do that two more times into that same chain and you're going to repeat this in every chain till you get to the end. You're going to work three half double crochets in every chain. Now when you finish it, the corkscrew won't be shaped like a corkscrew. You're going to have to shape it with your hands. So, you know, it doesn't automatically uh, turn into that little corkscrew. So here I'm going to go ahead and finish this and then I'll come back and show you what they look like before I shape them with my hands. Okay, I finished doing my uh, curly cue, my corkscrew, and as you can see, it's not shaped. It doesn't automatically shape. Like these are all shaped up. So all you're gonna do is get your corkscrew, and with your hands, you're gonna start twisting it and just shaping it as you go along. Twist it, just kind of wrapping it around and giving it the shape. And then once you finish, it'll be shaped. Okay, now I'm gonna work on the ears. For the ears, you could do them all white, but I have put a uh, pink on the inside. You're gonna do four pieces, and then you're gonna sew them together, a pink on top of the white. And then after we do that, then we could sew them onto the hat. You could shape them this way once you're sewing them on, or you could just leave them open. So here to begin this, remember you're gonna do four of them, two white and two pink. I just start with a chain. You could leave a tail, but it's right now it's the um some people can leave a long tail and sew around, but I'm just gonna add a, a yarn once I finish that. So here I'm gonna start with eight eight chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now here on the second to the last chain, I'm going to do one half double crochet in every stitch. So you'll have seven stitches at the end. One, two, and you're gonna do this for two rows. Three, four, pull the yarn out. Six, seven, Okay, 
there we go. Now here I'm going to chain two to go up, one, two, turn it around in that same stitch. I'm going to do my, begin starting doing my half double crochets in it with stitch two, three, four, My last stitch is going to be here over that second chain. Seven. Okay. So remember, now I'm going to chain two, one, two. I'm going to do a decrease. So I'm going to yarn over, and here in this stitch, I'm going to go in, go into the next stitch, pull through all, through all of them. And then I'm going to do one half double crochet, two. Three, and then in these last two, I'm going to go do a, dis a decrease. And three. so this one has a decrease in the beginning and a decrease in the end, and all the rest are just regular half double crochets. Now I'm going to go back up again. One, two, turn my work, do a decrease over the first two stitches. One, two. Then here, I'm going to do one half double crochet and then a decrease over the next two. One and two. Okay, chain two to go up. One, two. Decrease over the next two. One, two. And one half double crochet over the last stitch. Oops. I kind of split the yarn there. That's going to be our last stitch. I'm going to leave us cut my yarn and finish through. And then I'm just going to shape it here with my hands. Now I'm going to do another uh, pink one because here I've already done my other pink and white. I'm going to do another pink one. I'm going to lay them on top of each other and just sew them around the edges. Okay, I'm going to sew in all my tails for my ears. And then um, you're just going to put them, lay them on top of each other. Once I sew in all my tails, I'm going to cut a big, a long piece of yarn, white yarn. And I'm going to sew here, beginning here, up to here, and then attach them. Once they're attached, I can go ahead and sew all the way across. So basically, you're just going to sew them together like this. There's, If you want to use a whip stitch, you can. If you want to do a different stitch, I just used a little whip stitch and sewed them all together. So you can kind of see that what's going to go here. So first, let's put all the tails in and then I'll be able to sew my ears together. So now um, I'm going to be sewing on the ears and uh, you just want to make sure that the pointy, the little, it's not really super pointy, but the little top is there. I have put some yarn on my needle and so here is the first little strand of um, the main, the corkscrews. So I want to put my ears kind of like using that same row there kind of as a guide. I want it to go like this maybe kind of there just on the sides of the horn and then down here is where I'm going to put my little sleepy eyes if you want you could just I think these rounds they help you give you a guide so you could just put it right here you could use a stitch marker or safety pin or whatever you need to just kind of hold it in place it's not going to be you know um, the perfect but that way it just kind of helps you now lose your place and then I'm just going to go ahead and kind of sew it on here. 
width. Beginning from the bottom, I'm going to come up and just grab the edge of the bottom of the ear right there. Go down and just sew on the ears. I'm going to make a little knot here. And I can sew in that tail, hide it in my work. And then um, I think I could take the stitch marker off once I got it on there. I want to tear. So I'm going to use my hands to kind of guide it along that line right there, like from here to here. Okay. And then I'm just going to be using my needle. I'm trying to grab it from the white part. Sew it on. And just continue. So I'm just attaching them there, see? And then I was done. I'm trying to grab it here. Once I put the ear in, I'm going to go back into the inside. So there's the ear, and then the first little um, corkscrew could hang through there. Or if you want to put it closer, you can. It's totally up to you. You could even try it on your head and see how it's going to look. So here I'm going to go ahead and just attach, make my knot. Get that here. And you're going to sew in the other side. So on the ear on the other side as well. And then I'm going to sew in all these, uh, the tail here. And that's how you do the ear. Now I'm going to do the other ear. Then I'm going to come back, finish putting all the main, just rows and rows of my curly cues here. You can put them closer now. Then do them here. Then the next bunch there. And just alternate your colors. And you're going to continue following a line here in the center of the horn going up towards the top. And if you have a little bit left, you can do it there. You can do as many as you want. If you want to do more coarse screws and do all the way to the back, that's totally up to you. So I'm going to come back once I have my other ear and my corkscrews uh, attached. And then we're going to go ahead and do the little sleepy eye. Okay, so here now you can see that I've added all the corkscrews. And they were all just added in rows here across the back in a row. And then you can arrange them any way you want. But it will cover up the top. Here's the horn with the mane. And now I'm going to move these little I just kind of opened these up so it will cover that blank space in here. And if you want, you could even tack them down with a little piece of yarn to make sure that that space doesn't open. But there's the main, the, the, the main part of the hat. Here's the horn, the ears, and when you put it on, it'll fit perfect. So now here, I'm going to move these out of the way just to show you um, what we're going to do here. If you want to add the sleepy eyes, it's totally up to you. I'm just going to use some black yarn. And um, all the yarn I'm using, it's all, um, for this hat, it, was, it all turned out to be all red heart because I had so many other colors from a book I am working on. And it should be... Well, actually, I already finished the book. It should be released uh, pretty soon. I think it's already in Hobby Lobby. It's an Amiguri book. So here I'm just going to use black yarn. If you want to draw the little eyes, you can. But I'm just going to go here and just make a little half moon shape. And then I'm going to put little eyelashes. But it's totally up to you. You don't even have to do this part. But I'm just going to do... Uh, I'm going to leave a tail in the back so that I could tie it off later. And I'm just going to do a little backstitch like this. It's totally up to you. You don't even have to do this. It's your hat. So remember, it's up to you what you add or what you don't add. So here, I'm just going to be going down. And then I'm going to use the same row on the other side to make my eye. So now here, I'm going to go a little bit over. 
could use your hands to shape it and come back up. And like I said, it's up to you. And then now that I kind of have the little eye shape, I'm going to go back here and just start making some little eyelashes because your little eyes are closed, okay? Go in here, do another one. Go. Eyelash. Okay. And just do as many as you want for your eyelashes. And I'm going to see if I like the way that looks. Let's see, get back. I think I want to make this eye a little bit higher on this. Okay, there's my first eye. And I'm going to use these same lines here as a guide. And you could just kind of, this is like maybe two fingers or one finger. I'm going to start my next one here. And use these rows as a guide to get it kind of this way. So now in the back, I'm just going to go ahead and attach my yarn here and make your knots and these I'm not going to sew in the tail because I don't want them to be showing anywhere because it's black and then white if you want to use embroidery floss you can or you can just not just omit the eyes don't even do the eyes if you don't want to so that's the first one I'm going to do my second eye and then it's going to be done so see the hat is ready so you could even do it before, um, I know it's kind of late for Halloween, but maybe if you're a fast crocheter, you could still do it. Um, so here, I'm going to finish, I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like when it's all done.